A lot of people are asking questions about how to add a physical device to their license file so that they can actually integrate that in their SD-WAN lab. If you guys will hang around long enough, I'll show you how. Adding resources to our Viptela serial file begins with the software.cisco.com site. I'm going to go to plug and play. And from the plug and play console, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the correct virtual account, which is going to be the SD-WAN lab account. And what we're going to see here is, is in this configuration, I should have 32 total devices. These are those 8 KVs that we actually integrated in the uh, last lab or so. So what I want to do right now is I want to check a couple of things. I'm going to go to my controller profiles, and I should see that I have 32 available devices. Well, what we want to do is we want to add a new device. Now, the device that we want to add is going to be an actual physical component. I have a handful of ISR 4331s that I'm going to use for this portion of our exercise. Now, in order to be able to set this up, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the Devices tab, and from Devices, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Add Devices. Notice we have Add Software Devices. These are these virtual devices. Add a physical device is going to be where we need to click in order to add the actual ISR itself that we're going to be working with. I'm going to enter the device information manually. I'm going to hit next, and then it's going to ask me to identify the device itself. Now, in order to be able to do this and to do this well, we need to actually connect to the resource in question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring up serial connection to the ISR in question. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. I'm going to log in, admin, admin. And what we're going to find is if, if I say show a version, pipe include mode, we'll see that this device is in controller managed mode. Now this is very important because we need to execute an SD-WAN command to get some of the information that the PNP portal is going to be looking for. Now, first and foremost, it's also going to be important for us to note that this device is going to have some associated information. And to find that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, show the plug and play version information for this specific device and resource. We see that this device has a product ID of an ISR4331K9. We also see that it has a serial number of FLM2009 Whiskey Zero Echo Tango. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to copy that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that right into the serial number section. And I'm going to tell the system what type of PID it is. We said it is an isr 4331 slash K9. And I'm also going to make absolutely certain that I point out the fact that the serial or the certificate serial number, the certificate serial number field will be left blank. We will now select the controller profile that we're going to be using in my specific lab, and that's going to be the SD-WAN dash lab controller profile. And now what we're going to find is we have an issue where we need to tell the plug and play portal how to identify this specific physical endpoint. And then to be able to do that, we need to actually enter the SUDI serial number and the certificate serial number for the motherboard, for the board ID. Now to do that, again, I'm going to go back over to the session, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in the session show SD-WAN certificate, and I want it to give me its serial number information. This is actually looking at the cryptographic ASIC, the TPM in this box, and we're going to see here I have a chassis number. I'm going to go ahead and copy that over in its entirety. So after the dash, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to paste that in to the SUDI serial number. I'll say paste. Then what I'm going to do is go back to that and I'm going to grab the board ID serial number. Now this stuff is all going to be unique to your specific device. I'm going to hit add and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit save.
Now what we're going to find is, is that we need to finish the information. So if I had other devices, I could add them onesies, twosies, or I could have used a CSV file or something to import the information. I only have the one right now, and I actually stole that out of my SDA lab. This is actually my Fusion 2 router, and I'm going to go ahead and hit submit. What that's going to do is it's going to take us to the screen, and we're going to see an indication that everything happened okay, but what I want to do now is I want to hit done, and I want to look at the list of devices that I have for this specific component, and this is where I want to spend a little bit of time talking. You'll notice over here, what we see is we have an orangish yellow indication that says pending with redirection in parentheses. Now, this isn't something to worry about. Just like we saw those error messages with the 8000V, what this is telling me is, is that the system is waiting for this device to connect in order to be able to leverage the PMP services that this gateway is actually offering us, this portal is actually offering us. Now, in order to be able to prove that point, what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and go to my controller profile, and we're going to see here that my count has changed from 32 to 33 total resources. Now, I could come in here and download this file, tell it that I want the 8.3 or newer file format, and what I would then do is I could take this serial file and install it in my SD-WAN. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go back to my user environment. I am going to go to devices. And what I'm going to do is instead of uploading the WAN Edge file that I just showed you how to download, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here and say sync to my smart account. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide my user information. I'm going to need my password. Make certain that you check validate. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit sync. And let's see if this actually successfully connects to the PMP portal and pulls that information in. I'm going to go ahead and monitor what's happening. We have successfully synchronized. Now all I want to do is verify and see if I can find an ISR. 4331 in my list of resources. So I'm going to go ahead and hit device model to see if I can get this all to line out. And what you're going to see right here is I actually have added an ISR 4331. This is to demonstrate just how easy it is to actually onboard a physical device as long as you know how to generate the information that the PNP portal is going to want to see. Unfortunately, it's not intuitive, but at least it's easy. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to actually provide this for you guys that are trying to lab ahead. I pulled this out of one of the videos that I'm currently trying to edit and get it to where I'm satisfied enough with it to post, but I didn't want you to have to wait a few more days. So what I did is I just went ahead and extracted this. I'm throwing in this video and I'm going to make it available here as soon as I can. I'm really, really encouraged by the fact that you guys are labbing, you're working along with me. I'm also even further encouraged by the likes and the subscriptions. I want to tell you guys how much I appreciate everything that you've been doing, all of your support, and it's making it easier to continue to try to make quality videos. So I'll see you guys in the next one.